720 here. Um, this is a quick, not a quick video, but a video showing you how to uh, make an SMP server on Minecraft. Um, this will include port forwarding as well because many people do it the matchy. That doesn't really help. This is a lot easier, a lot simpler. Keeps your your desktop tidy, all intact. So yeah, first we go on um, your in your browser. Mine's Google Chrome, very recommended. Um, and we go to www dot uh, minecraft minecraft dot net. Log in. Log into my username. last time damn it so there we go right um we go on download after you've logged in oh and you have to be a uh, an actual member to uh you can't use the crack version or someone will mistake me here and like tell me you can shit like that anyway um here's all the minecraft actual dioxies for like all the uh and now here's the multiplayer software you click on the first one for Macintosh and that one for um, Linux or Macin. Let me rephrase that. That's for Windows. That's for Macintosh and Linux. Right, so we click on Minecraft server. Download. This is the fourth time I've done this. So we go to your, uh, or drag it onto your desktop or your Mozilla Firefox. Just drag that in. Um, just drag it in, yeah. Uh, right. Priority two is to make a new folder. Uh, new folder. Call it. Uh, call it whatever you want, but I just like keep mine intact, as you can see over here. So I'll call it MC Server Zero One. So do that. Uh, we move that into there to keep everything tidy, and you click on it. Uh, I turn that off because it's annoying when I, every time I try and do it. So uh, on that, it's preparing a world, and you can see because if that was in your desktop, that would have made a real mess of your like, desktop and stuff. So uh, you make this file, and it comes up with all these once you click on the Minecraft server. Um, so you get all these. Uh, that's your world that you'll be playing on. And if you want like your uh, your like single player world to come onto your Minecraft world, multiplayer world even, you can uh, at the end of the video I'll show you that. So once we've done that, you go on server, double click it, and now these you don't have to change. But if you don't want monsters on, you type you have to type this or it won't work. False. Or if you want them on, you have to type true, and that's what happens with all the others. Uh, the view distance all the same, the level name. Now, yeah, this is what it is. If the level name, what you do is you, um, if you don't want your single player uh, world to delete, you drag, you back up your single player world, drag it into the backup file into uh, the Minecraft server file, so which is this one, and uh, you can, um, what you have to do is make sure the server recognize it and call whatever it is so uh, say like if you can see over here that says base of world war one you have to type it exactly as it is so capital B A S E then O F world war one so like that as you can see and then what you do is you save it wait uh, this needs to be done though first but uh, um Right, stop that once it's done. You have to type stop it or gracefully stop it. Uh, just give it a second and there we go. Right, and then now we can change these. Uh, say if we wanted that, what we have to do is, that was one of my, uh, so you drag that out there or you can just leave it in there and just delete it if you haven't done anything on it. Uh, you drag that into there. Uh, on here, make sure it's like that. 
once that's done save uh exit out with it. oh and um make sure that it's always 25565 that's the server porting uh software software uh just code um make sure you do not type your server ip in there or else it won't work so we click off of that we run the server and as you can see base of world war one there and while it loads just give it a couple minutes as you can see it's gone to the top so it's going to be using that we just like click off it right and while that's loading i'll show you how to port forward all right what you have to do is you have to go to www dot port no in fact 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 go to google uh just, just type in port forward and click on the first one so port forward dot com forward slash and now you'll come to this page, okay? I can't tell you how to port forward, so you'll have to pay attention to these. Say if, like, you choose your router, and I'm sure it will be here, you have to find yours. So mine will be on this side. Second. There we go, BT. Uh, mine's our home hub too. You skip the advertisement, and now, as you can see, there are loads of different games here, and it's hard to find your one. So what we do is we find M for Minecraft. Here we go, my, my here we go, Minecraft server. Oh yeah, uh, and this is how to do it on mine. You enter your default router there um and it should take you to a page where you can port forward as you can see here you uh just follow them you have to pay attention 100 percent or else you won't get it right so after you've done that you go off that uh you uh open your server which is already done by now um because i've already port forwarded um it doesn't matter if you download the server five times a hundred times or a thousand times it would always still work on the same computer on the same router so we click on minecraft so for it to load <laughs> all right here we go should load up time here. Log in. As you can see, it's 1.7.3. So this is for uh, that patch. It works on any others, um, either before it, after it. Doesn't really matter. Click on multiplayer. Oh, and uh, to find your server, you just type in practically what's my I what's my yeah. What's my IP? Click on that, the first one, it'll be fine. Works on any search engine. There you go. Uh, then once we're on Minecraft, right. If you're on the same router as you just port forwarded, you can always type in local host. Um, that'll just, it won't affect it. It only affects your friends because they're not on your router. So you connect to it. Uh, this is my single player one, as you can, and this was my World War One base. I used to have the planes mod on it, and um, the SDK gun mod. So I've loads of different ones, as you can see. So after we've done that, you just really disconnect. And if your friends want to, uh, if your friends want to join, you like do that, and you copy and paste. Your server IP, we well, can't right click and paste, so you have to control C, then control V. It should, I think, I'm not too sure if it works on Mac. I'm not, well, you you know what control paste is on Mac anyway, so. Christ, my Blackberry. And then once you've done that, that's really it. So, 
that's really it guys uh, you just connect to local host or your server IP and then Bob's your uncle you're done so let me just stop this and uh, talk talk 720 that was just a quick tutorial as you can see in the name uh, uh, and uh, goodbye